When I have a circle as a vector, I can draw it and still do some interesting things. For example, if I want to change the colour, it's kind of like a mask down here on the layer. I double click and it brings up the colour palette and I can choose, say, red. I can also change the shape. Just above the shape tool, there's this selection tool. What I want is a path selection tool. Select the circle and then on these little dots on the side, if I press control, I can move them and I can create some interesting effects by doing this. Press enter to confirm. Now say I want to create a similar circle. Let's make one in black. So black color selected there. So I've drawn another vector circle. If I want to combine the two, there's a few ways I can do it. But I actually want to copy the shape there. So I control C and shape one and control V. Now if I hide the first shape, I can see I have my circle and my off circle on the same canvas, so it's on the same picture, it's on the same layer even. And I can do some interesting things with this. When I select the shape tool there, there's some options up the top. So I can select each one, add to shape area, so that would add the two together, subtract, difference, and intersection. So when I draw another shape, it has different effects, depending on the options I have when I draw it. It could be interesting to play around with these options and see what's possible and what effect each of these has as you make up your own vector shape.